Guys, I want to show you here the torque sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six. The cylinder head bolts, 106 inch pound, which are these over here, five and six. And then the cylinder head nuts, which are one through four in that order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, until you get it all torqued. Give me one second. All right, boys, here we go. Just kind of take it easy here, a little at a time. Try not to get in the way. And then I'm going to switch to these other ones. Like I said, I'm just snugging them up to the point where they'll start setting torque. Right. And then five is the top one. These haven't got tight yet. There we go. Just trying to take them as even as possible. And then once they get even, this one's still just loose. Doesn't have any tension on it. That, uh, there we go. They were a different torque. Yeah, these are also a different torque spec, so make sure that you change the torque wrench to accommodate for that. And like I said, I'm just at the point now where I'm just tightening them down. Mm -hmm. They're getting there. There's one. So one of them went torqued, and I'm going to change this to the 106 foot-pound for these two. So now I'm getting kind of close where they should start torquing. All right, there's 100. You said foot-pound, you mean it? I'm sorry, inch-pound. Thank you, Rob. 106 inch-pound. Remember, that's nothing. That one's torqued. Getting there, I like them all to torque at the same time, but apparently they're not going to. And then this one, you want to do 192 inch pound on the rest of the four. That one click, sound like it did. Come on. This one already clicked, I believe. Okay, that one's good. finish up and I'll be right back with you all right guys so I've got remember this goes toward the front what you do is you turn 
you turn this uh, gear in here clockwise to bring the tension off the chain. And then once you do that, you tighten these down. Remember to use the Loctite I was telling you about. The manual calls for it. And then you just kind of That's tight. Yeah. And then you release it. And let's check it to make sure it went all the way back down. Yep. I can feel it go up and go down. The chain's getting tight. I'll turn the motor over a little bit. Make sure that make sure that chain. And that's it, boys. And I'll be back with you as soon as I get the rest of it together. All right, guys. So sorry about that. <clears throat> Got the tensioner back in, and just put the nut back, wind it up. Everything looks good. I've got these two tight. Everything has been torqued at the top of the unit here. And I put the spark plug in. I just wanted to see how it felt with some compression. So, let's see. I always turn it over counterclockwise. Oh, yeah. There's the compression stroke. Really got a good compression stroke here. All kinds of compression. All right, so I'm happy with that. I can live with that. Put your O-ring back on. Cover up your timing cover. Like I said, just kind of finishing up the install part here. Remember, you don't want to go too crazy with these. If you tighten stuff too much, it can cause an issue, okay? I did check my valves. I'm gonna do a video on checking your valves. My intake valve was perfect. My exhaust valve was a little tight, so I loosened it just a little bit, uh, just because I like to run the exhaust valve a little bit looser, you know, just because, uh, I always like to go a little looser than all the way to the tightest setting they have. Now I'm going to go ahead and unclip the zip tie, mount my intake, I'm going to go ahead and cover it up my cam gear, real easy lock. Make sure there's no debris on that o-ring, wipe it down real good, and then assemble it back together. Okay, make sure you get this little piece of foil over this piece here, and then you just mash it down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a little Loctite on the intake bolts. <laughs> like I said, Loctite. Loctite, Loctite. I'm not going to Loctite this uh, sensor here. It's just basically a temperature sensor. I am going to tighten it down here for uh, I forget. And plug it back in. Plug back in my TPS that I unhooked as well. And then I'm going to change the oil filter and oil just because I'm doing a new engine here. And you know, this just make sure that you're smart when you're tightening stuff. You don't want to over tighten stuff, okay? But just make sure you're smart and you tighten it, okay? Um, but it's coming along quite nice. And um, I'm interested to see how much power the new kit's going to make. I'm kind of, I want to say between 12 and 13. Remember, it's not that much bigger, and the compression is just a little higher. But I want to say, you know, between 12 to 13, I'm just not 100% sure. I went ahead and tightened this down. I may have to loosen it and adjust it um, to get it to fit my lower belly pan pairing. It should be fine. Like I said, I'm going to change the oil after this. I went ahead and got the everything in place here. Let me get those bolts tight, these little two eight millimeters, and just use a little bit of Loctite, okay? Just to play it safe. And I'm just gonna put a little right here on the thread and run it down into it. All right, guys, 
went ahead and put the nut back in here. Got that one. Remember, washer on both sides of the bolt here. Okay. And all I'm going to do, tighten them down. Uh, I didn't use any Loctite on them just because I don't like using Loctite where oil is. But I'm just going to kind of snug these up a little bit. That's good. And I don't have to use a wrench on that. Okay, that's it. That's her. She's tight. I got the intake back on. Everything is looking good. It's looking like we are ready to get her back together. So, just kind of put my Chimera. Oh, sorry. I don't know what I'm filming. Put my Chimera back on. I, uh, Subscriber did recommend a tripod, so the good news is I will have tripods soon, okay? For you guys, I figured you guys like my videos, so why not make them better if I can? All I gotta do is tighten these two down, put the exhaust back on, change the oil, well, refill the oil with a new filter, and that's it. It's all back together. So I'll make another video and show you guys how it runs. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, until next time.